A meteor is a small body of matter that comes from space that is made of rock or metal and enters the Earth's atmosphere. It will either burn up in the atmosphere or, in some cases, it will hit the ground creating an impact crater. There are over 190 documented meteor impact sites around the world and 30 of them are located here in the United States. Many of the confirmed meteor craters cannot be seen from the surface nor from the air due to heavy erosion. Evidence was actually found underground. Erosion, volcanism, water, air, and plate tectonics destroyed any evidence of previous prehistoric impacts. Nowadays, the majority of meteorites entering the Earth's atmosphere will burn up, just like you see here. This footage was captured by a security camera in North Liberty, Iowa. Of the 30 impact structures in the U.S., only eight of them are visible, and they can be viewed from either the air or from the ground or both. Here are eight impact craters that are visible in the U.S. Number one, Decaturville Crater in Missouri. The crater is six kilometers in diameter. It's about 300 million years old and the size of the meteor that hit was about 100 to 110 meters wide. In this satellite image, you can actually see the depression of the crater itself. The circle indicates the rim of the crater. Here you can see a clear picture of the depression on the topographical map. This photo from Google Maps was taken from inside the crater facing towards the east. Here you can see the raised rim of the crater. Middlesboro Crater, Kentucky. Middlesboro Crater is about five to six kilometers in diameter. It's less than 300 million years old and the size of the meteor that hit was about 100 meters wide. The town of Middlesboro fits right inside the crater. The yellow circle represents the edge of the crater and here's the topographical map to show the depression. This is the town of Middlesboro and you can see the hills on the outside of the town is actually the crater rim. The town fits right inside the crater. Here's a view of Middlesboro inside the crater. You can clearly see the depression. Odessa Crater, Texas. Now this crater is small. It's about 160 meters in diameter. It's about five meters deep at the deepest and 60,000 years old. The size of the meteor was about a meter wide and made of iron. Here's the topographical map. This is a panorama of the Odessa Crater. As you can see, it's not very deep. It's pretty shallow. In fact, it was 100 feet deep when it first formed, but erosion slowly filled it in. Sierra Madera, Texas. Sierra Madera Crater is visible from the air and from the surface. It's 13 kilometers in diameter and less than 100 million years old. The size of the meteor was about 200 meters in diameter and was formed by either an asteroid or a comet. The yellow circle represents the crater edge and that structure in the middle is the rebound structure from the impact. And there's the crater edge. Go all the way around until we see the rebound structure again. There it is. Wells Creek Crater, Tennessee. This can also be seen clearly from the air as well as from the ground. Wells Creek Crater is about 12 kilometers in diameter. It's about 200 million years old and the size of the meteor that hit was 275 meters. Here you can clearly see the depression and the town sits right inside of it. The topographical map shows a clearer picture of the depression. This hill marks the rim of the Wells Creek Crater and here you can clearly see the depression. Upheaval Dome in Utah can also be seen from the air as well as from the ground. The actual crater was about 10 kilometers in diameter and it formed about 60 to 170 million years ago and the size of the meteor that hit was about 500 meters wide or about a half kilometer. Wetumpka Crater in Alabama can also be seen from the air as well as from the ground. The Wetumpka Crater is about 6.5 kilometers in diameter, it's about 83 million years old, and the size of the meteorite that hit is about 380 meters wide. 
Here you can easily see the crater on the topographical map. This photo by Google Maps was taken on the rim of the Wetumpka Crater. Behringer Crater in Arizona, or otherwise known as just Meteor Crater. Meteor Crater is about 1.2 kilometers in diameter, it's about 50,000 years old, and the iron nickel meteorite that hit was about 15 meters wide. Meteor Crater in Arizona is the world's best preserved impact crater. It is in pristine condition and it is easily accessible from Interstate 40 near Flagstaff. This is the remains of an old mine shaft at the bottom of the crater. The Holsinger meteorite fragment that you see right here was the largest fragment that was found in the meteor crater. It is almost a meter in diameter.